String pool is an area in the Java heap which is used to store all the string values, so that if a new string literal is created, which is already present in the string pool, then that string is returned instead of creating a new string. Here, folks, please like, share, and subscribe, because that's what motivates us to keep making high-quality videos, and it takes a lot of effort and cost to bring it up to the standards. So with that, let's get started. String pool is an important concept in Java, and is often asked in Java interviews. So please watch the video till the end. String pool is an area in the Java heap. It is also known as string intern pool or string constant pool. By default, it is empty and is managed by the string class. String interning is a concept where we have only one copy of each distinct string value. As you know, JVM has its own heap space where the object instances are stored. And the variables are just references to these objects stored in the Java heap. Before we discuss further, let's see a few examples. Say string S1 equals New York, string S2 equals California, and string S3 equals New York. Let's draw the JVM heap. Now let's create a string pool inside the heap space. Now when the JVM sees the string literal New York, it creates a new string in the string pool and then returns the reference to this string. Next, when JVM executes S2 equals California, it does the same thing. Now look at the string S3. We already have New York in the string pool. So instead of creating a new string, the reference variable S3 points to the existing instance of New York in the string pool. So in this way, JVM creates as few strings as possible by reusing the existing objects. Let's see it in code. Save s1 dot equals s3. Consistent dot out dot print ln of s1 and s3 have same values. s1 equals e equals s3. Consistent dot out dot print ln of s1 and s3 point to same instance. If s1 equals e equals s2. Then print S1 and S2 point to different instances. Let's run it. Cool, it prints S1 and S3 have same values. ANS1 and S3 point to same instance. ANS1 and S2 point to different instances. Now let's look at the other example. Say string S4 equals new string of New York. What will happen when this statement gets executed? Firstly, the JVM creates a new string in the string pool when it sees the literal New York. Now since we are creating a new string instance, here the JVM will create another new object inside the heap space and outside the string pool and the reference variable S4 points to this object in the heap space. So let's do if s1 dot equals s4. Then the string values are same. If s1 equals equals s4. Then the two string references point to same objects. Else s4 points to object instance inside heap. Now let's run it. It says the string values are same. And S4 points to object instance inside heap. Perfect. Now let's look at another method called intern in string class. When you call a string.intern on any string instance, the JVM will check if the value of the string instance already exists in the string pool by using string.equals method. And if the string pool already has such a value, then the reference to that instance in the string pool is returned. Otherwise, a new string instance is created in the string pool, and the original object instance's reference is returned from the heap space. The next example will illustrate this point. Let's say string s equals new string of hello. Let's call string reference return 
this dot in turn. Let's evaluate the behavior step by step. As we discussed before, two objects will be created for this string. One inside the string pool for the string literal, palal, and the other object inside the heap space. And the reference variable as points to the object instance in the heap space. Now I'm calling as.intern jvm looks if the value hello of string s already exists in the string pool. In this case, it does. So, string.intern returns the reference of the instance inside the string pool. To validate this, we can do if the condition reference returned equals equals string s. Then, system.out.println of new string instance created in the string pool and object reference from heap space returned. Else do system.out.println string pool string instance returned. Let's run it. Cool, it printed string pool string instance returned. As the string literal hello already exists in the string pool. Thus, string pool values get garbage collected when no string points to the string pool values. The answer to this question is no. String pool doesn't get garbage collected as JVM internally points to these string pool values. Quick question for you guys first. Can you give me an example when if you call the intern method on a string, it should return the instance of string in the heap space? Second. Can you relate this strategy to any design pattern? For those who didn't get it, a small hint. It is categorized structural design pattern. The answers will be available in the description below after some time. Let me know the answers in the comment section below. Well, that's all for this video guys. If you like this video then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until then stay happy, stay healthy and keep smiling. Catch you in the next video.